So it should be no surprise to you that going after your dreams and your goals and building a successful business, especially when you're working full-time in the police or the NHS, is freaking hard work. And sometimes you just wanna quit. Well, I'm gonna share with you my personal reasons for not giving up. So the first one is to prove the doubters and the naysayers wrong. Unfortunately, when you go and build a business or try something new with your life or you know try and solve problems and do something remarkable, not everyone wants to see you do well. In fact, they want you to quit and throw in the towel. And the reason for this is because the people closest to you, such as friends, family, it could be colleagues, they all start off in the same kind of position. And when you go off and try something new or gain results, it actually makes them feel insecure and doesn't make them feel good. It actually makes them realize that they have unfilled potential that they're not using. So it can come out that they actually secretly don't want you to do well, or they may not make it a secret and they may tell you. So instead of proving the doubters and naysayers right, instead inspire them. Inspire them that because now you've achieved amazing success in your life, that they can too. Next is your reason why. So when you start thinking about quitting and get these thoughts about giving up and you know going back to you know your old life, um, your brain will look for information that is trying to affirm with the belief of uh, quitting is okay. So this could be things like um, listening to the radio and you hear something, it could be driving a car and you see a sign and you're like, oh my God, this is a sign that I should quit. However, that's just something called confirmation bias. Your brain or your mindset's looking for things that's actually gonna give it that justification to quit. However, I would really encourage you to remember the reason why you started a business in the first place. What was that initial spark that really encouraged you to get out and build a business and gain some freedom in your life or grow your business to that next level? Whatever that reason is for you, find it as that is a powerful fuel source to push you through the hard times. For me personally, actually have success, it's my clients. You know, my clients give me a lot of fuel, um, they give me a lot of purpose to keep going when the hard times come. So whether that is your kids, whether that is your own clients, whether that is to solve a particular problem that you want to see in the world, or to give, you, you know, leave a legacy. You know, leave a legacy um, when you die or when you pass on, um, you've left something for your family for years um, after that you've gone. Whatever it is, find that reason why. I promise you it will be a big, big sticking point, especially when the times get tough. Next is that you'll die wondering. So when you decide to quit or um, throw in the towel or give up on your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, your success, we know what happens. You know that you'll end up exactly where you started. Or if you're building a business right now whilst working the job, you're gonna stay in that job for you know a, long, a much longer time. Now, with that comes with the thought of what if. Throughout your life, and also at the end of your life, you know, for one second, just imagine that you're, you know, 90 years old, you're surrounded by your friends and family, you've been told that you've got, I don't know, a week to live, and you'll know you're going to die. In those final thoughts, for me personally, I don't wanna wonder, you know, what if I tried that one more time? What if I didn't give in so easily? What if I just pushed through one more time? Or what if I stuck through the hard times? and how different my life would have been. And through that, the quality and the time I could have given my family if I did try that one more time. So for me, I would always don't wanna die with what if. Next is the cost of quitting. So when you feel like quitting, um, it can be the easiest thing to do. You just wanna get rid of the pain, the frustration right away. But that decision in that moment of quitting is actually the most expensive thing you could ever do. So what I mean by that is when you've quit, you've got the whole you know life ahead of you. But life's still there. You've still got to pay for maybe um, you know, school things to do with your kids, do a school, it could be school trips, it could be um, you know, God forbid a divorce, it could be you might want to buy your um, your fiance a, a lovely engagement ring, it could be going on a holiday. It could be that one of your family members get ill and they have to go overseas, which costs a lot of money to get a certain kind of uh, therapy um, sorted for them. 
or you get medically retired from the job and you know that retirement uh, money isn't enough to support you um, it could be that you've not paid your mortgage off yet and all these things that associated with money that you need but those expensive things wouldn't be a big of an issue if you had the money to afford them so in that moment of decision of quitting you threw in the towel to actually deal with the things that life may throw at you in the future so for me personally you know i've had a decision between you know i've been broke before and i've been successful i would choose success every single time financial success because it gives me choices to deal with things that life may throw at me so when you do feel like quitting just remember that can be the most costly thing you could ever make so the next reason is quitting is setting an example so for those people close to me you know brothers it could be family members if you've got kids and you're watching this um, it could be parents it could be colleagues or close friends every time you know you quit you're setting an example for those around you that it's okay to quit for me personally I don't want that for people I love in my life. I don't want that for people I'm close with because I believe that quitting helps no one. Quitting is the easiest thing to do. And I'm not teaching those people around me to quit on their dreams and their life and their future because times get tough. Life in general is tough. Business is tough. It's all gonna to be tough, you know? And in success or failure, you know, if achieving success is hard and I believe that actually, um, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, you know, dealing with debt and dealing with, you know, a lack of choices in life is much harder. So quitting becomes a habit. And when you start surround yourself with your new family members and you, you start quitting, they're going to recognize that and they're going to think, oh, it's okay to quit. You know, Billy quit, so I'm going to quit. However, I would encourage you to actually start building the habit of perseverance, which is a habit too. If you push through the hard times, that resilience, that in itself becomes a very, very strong habit and skill set to gain you the results you want. So, for that reason, don't set a bad example. Next is that you're closer than you think. You see, success is always around the corner. Always try one more time until you get the life that you want or the break that you want. So for me, when I first started my business, I think back in 2014, I was 24 years old and I was getting a lot of rejection. You know, I was getting no's from raising finance to failing with estate agents, failing with landlords, you know, couldn't find the properties or the assets to buy. It was just a whole lot of rejection and no and frustration. And, um, you know, I was about throwing the towel. I was getting these thoughts of quitting, giving up, and this isn't for me, or, you know, here's a good one. Opportunity, there's no opportunity. There's just no opportunity for me. Um, all justifications for giving me a reason to quit. However, two weeks later, I think about four and a half months into my journey now, um, from those thoughts of quitting, so we're two weeks on, I secured my first asset. I raised my first investment, which is about £100,000 for my investment partner and I remember answering the phone in, in police custody and got quite emotional I had to run in the back before anyone saw me and um, yeah we secured our first investment and that was a pivotal point and the reason it was so emotional was because literally two weeks ago I was thinking about quitting I was thinking about throwing in the towel um, and that moment you know it, it scaled from there we have now 75 rental units about 1.5 million pound worth of assets uh, a multiple six-figure business um, and ultimately that's changed our life. It's changed the life for my family and, and allowed me to give me choices in life to follow other interests, which is such a shift success. You know, we now help ex and serving police officers in building businesses. And even with, with shift success, you know, um, success was always around the corner. So when I first started shift success and started putting myself out there, the brand out there, I got a lot of rejection, a lot. Um, police officers are a skeptical bunch. And I remember meeting uh, clients in hotel lobbies uh, with my brochures and my offer forms and my contracts and, you know, talk, talking to them about the program, understanding their problems, their pain points. And I got a lot of no, I got a lot of rejection, got a lot of no, it's not for me, sorry, it's great what you're doing, but we just can't do it right now. 
um, which was which was really disheartening. And I can remember actually putting a piece of content out there for the first time, and I think it, the content was on fear, and it was in a Facebook group. Um, I can't remember the Facebook group now, but I put myself out there, and I got a lot of cops saying bad things about me. So I had cops like uh, jump in the sea, or um, you know you slimy, or you know all these things that weren't really nice, right? And that was disheartening. You know these these people I'm trying to help and you kind of get this this rejection and this no um, but again the genius thing that I did was not giving up because I knew every no every no was leading me to that yes and you know I kept on meeting um, people in hotel lobbies police officers and eventually one person loved what we did and they came in and another person and another person another person and then it snowballed just like my first business. And now we're about two years or approaching two years into the business. You know, we've got lots of clients now in our cohorts. They're getting amazing results. You know, they're resigning. They're living life on their terms. Um, they're living the brand ethos. Um, we're now being nominated for awards. We've partnered with global enterprises called Dent Global. Been in the BBC. You know, we've been in real business. It's been an amazing journey. And again, I just knew that success was around the corner if I didn't quit. So I encourage you watching this, if you are thinking about quitting, just bear in mind that the break that you want is waiting for you, just around the corner. And lastly, it's fun. You see, if I do quit, I'll be essentially working in a job I don't really want to work in, just to earn a salary, to then buy shit and escape on holiday to take my mind off the fact that I'm a slave to that very salary. For me, going after big aspirations and visions and goals and you know earning money and being paid my worth, to me, that gives me happiness, that gives me fulfillment. Knowing that I'm living to my potential, knowing that I have choices in my life, that is fun. Knowing that I can leave my office right now and go and walk the dogs when I please, knowing that I'm not being told what to do, knowing that I'm solving people's problems and making an impact in this world. However, if you go back to a job, unfortunately, those things can go because you have certain politics and restrictions around a job. So just bear in mind, you're going to have a lot more fun if you just persevere and never give up. So that's it. That's my personal reasons for never giving up, never throwing in the towel, never quitting. And I hope this really inspires you, especially if you're going through a really hard time right now in business or in life. And I suppose I just want to leave you with a bit of a story, really, about you sitting in a car, you know, you're sitting in your entrepreneurial car, it's pitch black around you, um, it's night time and your headlights are on and you only can see so far ahead in the road, right? You only can see probably a couple meters because that's how far the headlights go. If you're static and you're not moving, you only can see those two meters. But if you put the accelerator on, if you roll forward, the road will always appear. You don't question if the road will appear, you know it will appear. And that's sometimes what you've got to do when it comes to achieving your goals and business success. As long as you keep putting your foot on the accelerator, even though it can be so easy to remain static and not move forward and quit, I promise you the road will appear and you will arrive at your destination. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.